Yeah, we're going. Yeah, it's also. Yeah, but ready. So, uh, Shalom, Shalom. You know, we in here with the brother. You know, the brother from GMS, uh, Fruit of Faith. You know, the brother from GMS, uh, Louisiana Camp, man. You know, Kaya. You know, we from the GMS, you know, Gulf Coast House of Judah Camp. Okay. You know, uh, you know, we just gonna get into a quick lesson, man, before Camp, man. You know, Lord willing is edifying to the watchers, the viewers. You know, uh, we're going to start out getting infinite honors, infinite glory, infinite call of lawyer. So you hollow, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha, Dash. The honors to our apostle, the elder GMS, rule well, teaches his truth 100%, no cut. Double shallow warm and salutation, I can push his word across the four winds, giving all truth, faith, sincerity, and diligence, man. So no, we're just going to get straight into the lesson, man. It's basically, you know, you know, we just come up with it in the spirit, man, you know, because we always going through things in the spirit, man. Uh -huh. You know, but we know one thing about it, that it's for our uh, improvement, man. Uh -huh. You know, the Lord is uh, chastening us, man, growing us, man, because they tell you we're going to be put in that furnace of affliction, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so when we come into this truth, man, you know, hey, they tell you also, you know, the more we increase in knowledge, we're going to increase in sorrow as well because we're being, we're woken up, man. To hmm. see the, the, the bullshit that's going on in this society that we live in, man. Huh. You know, so of course it's going to vex us, man. But we got to use that same pain and, and use it as fuel to our fires. You know, our fires are considered what? I mean, our, our, so like that, we know our spirits are considered what? Man, fire, man. Huh. So we got to use that pain we're going through as fuel, man, to grow, man. You know, and uh, when you brothers at the cleave, I mean, like that, uh, you guys are out. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 18. For in much wisdom is much grief. Right, and much wisdom is much grief, man. So the more we increase in this, in this spiritual knowledge, man, this life, you know, the more we we, we live truly in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, the more we're going to suffer, man. The more we're going to be vexed in the spirit, man, because when our, our king, our big brother was on the scene, he was vexed all the time, man. That's why they call him a, a wine bibber, man, because they tell you in the apocrypha that wine was made to make the heart cheerful, man. That's why he drunk so much so much wine, man. Mm. You know, and they tell you to give strong drink to a man that's ready to perish, man. We need these these different uh avenues of relief, man, when it goes into the drinks, man. You know, physical drink, not that spiritual wine, because that spiritual wine, we know that is being what, man? Different philosophies, man. Mm. We don't, we don't, we don't drink those. Mm. You know, we drink, you know, the the, the the, the physical wine, man. The wine that you see, the strong drink that you can see, man. You know, but you got it up. And he that increaseth knowledge, right. increaseth sorrow. So the more we grow in the spirit, man, the more we're going to grow in sorrow, man, because is the, the scripture tell you that everything is lawful, but everything is not expedient, man. So we're going to see some things that vex us, that it's lawful for us to you know, act on it, but it's not expedient for us to act on it because it can cause us being either put to death or being put in jail, man. Come on, like you know. Come on. I could add, you know, a, a, an example of increasing yourself in knowledge and uh, feeling more sorrow. Basically, the more you know, the more you are subject to pain. Come you know, you can have a, a woman being raped, right? And and if you know what's going on, that could probably upset you. But if that same woman is being raped in front of a one year old. He has no idea what's going on. He's not going, he doesn't understand what's going on. So therefore, he's not experiencing that sorrow or right. that, 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 that uh, depression, uh -huh. you know, because he, he does not understand. So the more you understand, the more you are subject to pain and sorrow because uh -huh. you have an understanding of what's going on. If uh -huh. you don't have an understanding of what's going on, thus being asleep, then, you know, you're just like the walking dead. Uh -huh. And what the scripture tells you in Proverbs 21 and 16, huh? shit, you know, the man that one is out the way of understanding shall remain the congregation of death. Cool. You know, they don't understand nothing, man. Right. They not, they not, in, they not living, man. You know, they they in, uh, engulfed and indulging in death, man. So everything is just, you know, everything to them, man. To us, the things we see, experience, deal with, put on with on a daily day basis, man. That's 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 vexing to the spirit, man. Right. You know, because we're living and it's the things we deal with is trying to kill us, man. Trying to suck us back into this world, man. You know, to an extent, man. But if somebody's dead dealing with somebody that's dead or dealing with dead situation, it's not it's, it's already numbered to them. They don't they don't experience nothing, man. You know, they just go through it, man. You know, go with the moment. You got it, bro. You no, know, and it's just going into uh, what you had brought up earlier. This is uh first Corinthians. Chapter 10, verse 23. 
It says, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify it not. You know what I'm saying? And and that's just going in on on how we gotta uh basically control ourselves, man. You know what I'm saying? And and, and with, with with this wisdom, we gotta understand, you know, everything is lawful, but controlling keeping the laws is is is, is not expedient in a sense because we keep the laws to the best of our ability. You know, because and with keeping it to the best of our ability, meaning, say for it, just an example, okay, it's a midweek Wednesday, and it just so happened the Sabbath falls on uh Wednesday sundown to Thursday sundown. Right. You know, nine times out of ten, all the brothers that are in this truth, man, we're gonna have to work, man. Mm-hmm. We have to go to work. Right. So guess what, right. man? We 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 gotta go to work because Esau ain't gonna let you take off. Just right. take off. He ready to fall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he ready. He ready to get rid of you. Know? You know what I'm saying? So so yeah, everything is lawful, but everything ain't expedient, man. Because guess what? We we're still in captivity. Come on. You know what I'm saying? We still gotta do what uh what these what these Edomites tell us to do, man. At, at so just at a lower level. Right. You know what I'm saying? But we, we're going to still do what does say as the Lord say do, right. you know, and t- to the best of our ability also, right. you know, but and that's, that's and, just it. And if I can add to it, just to add to the brother's point, you know, that's just like we see a homosexual, man. It's lawful for you to put a homosexual in there. It's lawful to, to put a person that's been, because we just had, you know, well, not we, but, you know, they just had an article come out where you have a damn near whole family. Have sex with dogs and shit, man. Come on. Edomites, man. It's Come on. lawful to put them to death. It's lawful to put a homosexual to death, man. Come on. And the scriptures say that is everything is lawful, but everything is not expedient. And this, like the brother was getting into, we in this man in captivity. So if we see a homosexual engaging in homosexual act, kissing another man, a man kissing another man, a woman kissing another woman. Come on. Us to go put them to death is not expedient. It's Come lawful, but it's Come not on. expedient. That's why the Lord said, I cast you out of sheep. Amongst the wolves. That's right. You know, right, be as right, wise right. as serpents, as homeless as doves, man. Right, right, right. So we gotta apply knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We gotta use this fuel. We gotta turn the other cheek in the sense, man. Come. You know, on the sense, man. We gotta turn our cheek to this shit, man, to this bullshit. You see the shit, you go in your Walmart because that shit is being uplifted, man. Come. Homosexuality so, uh, is uh kind of is being uplifted in this society, man. Right. So we have to turn the other cheek to it, man, and continue to walk down the path. That the Lord has laid out for us, man. And the Lord laid it out for us, giving it to us in the form of these scriptures, man. Mm. In the form of our brothers, man, that's God in us, man. Whether a young brother, our elders and apostles, or a young brother, hey, you accept that from them, man. If they dealing with you in the scriptures and knowledge, man, hey, if it's something that can help you, something that benefits you, bro, which nine times out of nine is going to be, you use that, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you go with it, man. Mm-hmm. And so, like, if I can add right quick, let me get the piece of it because I want to land back on what your first verse. And, you know, like I said, man, you know, it's not expedient right now because we're not in rulership right now, man. It's not a, it's not expedient for us to put a homosexual with the devil, man. Why? Because the Edomites are still ruling, man. And the Edomites find it, you know, wise for a homosexual to, you know, to, to do what they do these days, man. You know, we're not in rulership. But when we get our kingdom, homosexuals, and, and, and which is all those going to get put to death, man, <clears throat> you know, because it's lawful, you know, but I got a quick precept right quick. This is uh, Ecclesiastes, just to lamb back off uh, the brother Karatasa, what he brought out the first time, you know, for in much wisdom is much grief and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow, man, right. you know, because the scriptures also tell us, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, what it say? Uh... You know, when when we like uh coming to this truth, you know, we 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 find out that we in captivity, just so to say, man. Mm-hmm. We know that we in captivity. Uh what is it? Why make a wise man mad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Should yeah. a person make a wise man mad, man? Yeah, man. You know, we're wise to these scriptures now, man. So we know that we are in captivity right now, so it's making us mad, man. That's why we go to the highways and byways. And prophesied the downfall of this wicked queendom, man. Uh, right. You know, 
Because we are in the knowledge now, man. Y'all by some y'all shot have woken us up to this truth, man. Yeah, if I can add to what you're saying, I'll talk about y'all. It tell you, you know, please ask please ask us the second chapter. Come. It tell you that, you know, when you come to serve the Lord, my son, when you come to serve the Lord, that I serve the temptation. That temptation. Come. Is that fire? Come. That furnace of affliction, man. We're gonna be tempted on every we're gonna be thrown in that that that, that fire, man. Yep. So we gotta deal with it, man. We have to Fight off those temptations with what we've been learning, man. Right. With this right, water. Right. Cool it down, man. You know, constantly. You brothers got it. I got one. You know, listen. Jet bag. Jet bag. You had some. Jet bagging you up, you know, you say, oh, because once you come in this truth, you know that we, we've been in captivity, but this was Messiah in chapter 5 and verse 1. And that's all we get. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. You know, that's why we are on the highways and byways, because the Lord put the spirit on us, man. You know, he put the spirit on us to go hard in front of the same people who hung us, who raped our wives, I mean, our wives raped us, you know, and did all this weakness to us, man. You know, we bring it out, and and and, and once somebody come up, it can seem like we angry, because we is, man. Come on. You know, we standing in great boldness in front of all these devils, in front of all people telling them that the Lord going to destroy them, in front of these heathen too, man. Come we on. in the gates of the nobles, man, week in and week out. Prophesying right. a downfall of y'all beloved kingdom, man. Come on. Come on. And then what the scripture tell you, the Lord is angry with the wicked every, every day. day. Come on. We coming in the spirit of y'all, by some y'all and y'all, so yeah, hell yeah, we angry, man. Come on. We Come pissed on. the fuck off, man. Do what? On camera, off camera, man. Uh-huh. And, and, you know? And what the Lord said, the day of vengeance burning in his heart, man. That's right. That's a body. Come. The Lord ready to destroy this place, man. Come. I got a precept. Just to back. Just to back, just to back the brother, uh, brother Gadal real quick. You know, this is, uh, Job 21 and 30. It says that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath, man. You know, and and, and, and going into to that the, that the Lord hates you wicked people. You know, y'all are reserved, man. Come. You know, y'all y'all are reserved, man. So guess what? Y'all gonna keep keep uh, what's that? What's that old saying they used to uh, say? Uh, you can you cast a check. You know, that your ass can't cash. Your mom writes you write a check. Yeah, you write, write a check that your, your ass can't cash, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. And 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 that's that's what you that's what you uh you heathens are doing, man. Come. You know what I'm saying? They go for two thirds of our people's and they Come. They're still in that heathen state of mind, man. Come, man. Come. But that's all I had. You 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 brothers can uh go and get your pre self. And to continue on what we're talking about here. You know, all the prophets were men, and this is the knowledge. You know, we, we must listen to our brothers, you know, mm-hmm. brothers in the faith. Mm-hmm. And being asleep, you know, we can't deal with these women. Come. You know, this is what I'm talking about here. This is First Timothy chapter 5, verse 6, in reference to being awake. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Now, if, if we men took on the same attitude, we might as well be in the congregation of the dead, right? If we don't accept this truth, if we blend right back into this world, you know, the homosexuality thing, you know, living life to the fullest, being engulfed in all that, drinking from the different doctrines, the different cups, so like the brother uh, Yawadza said, uh, we drink the physical wine, not that spiritual wine, mm-hmm. not, not that one, not the one from the cup that can get us intoxicated um, with this evil, wicked society that we're um, in. Right, and just right. to add to y'all real quick, you know, and also like the brothers going into women physically, man, if all you, all that's on your mind is chasing a bitch or trying to fuck something, man. Right. Hey, but that's, that's, that's going off, man. Right. You should, that, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with you, you know, you're getting your rocks off, man, right. you're busting here and there, you know, but your main focus should be about doing the Lord's work, man. Stand like, like we were just talking about this. What the Lord said he's talking mm-hmm. about my father's business. Come. We supposed to be about our big our father and our big brother's business, man. Come. That's Come. doing this work, man. Come. Fishing for the elect, man. Come. Lord will we of the elect, man. Doing the things that the elect would be doing, man. And that's applying these scriptures as well as teach them, man. You know? I got one more. This and is it's, go ahead. It's a lot, yeah, I, if I could just add to the point to what uh what the brother was trying to make real quick, if I may, you know, this is uh Proverbs 
chapter 31 and verse 3. It says, Give not thy strength unto women, mm -hmm. nor the ways to that which destroyeth kings. Because guess what, man? We 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 can't give ourselves unto these women, man. Come on, come on. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? You know, they they they're gonna they're gonna destroy us, man. You know, and we and we and we also know we we also know that uh the beginning uh what's what's that scripture I can uh, do do women we do women we all die, man. You know what I'm saying? Just roughly paraphrasing it. You know what I'm saying? And and that's 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 the ways of the heathen, man. If you if you really want to get deep in depth to it. That's the ways of the heathen following after these heathen because uh look what they got in uh New York City, man. You know, they got the Lady of Liberty holding up that uh that, that flame of fire, man. You know what I'm saying? The left hand and, and um and another one is uh Columbia the Colum the Columbia Pictures movie. In the mm -hmm. beginning of the movie they have the lady sitting there holding that little book. Mm -hmm. And with the little with the little fire right That's there. doctrines, because a lot of book come teach us. Right? Right. Doctrine is what? Meets. That's it, uh -huh. man. That's it, man. You know? That's that's what these heathens do, man. They they give themselves to their women, man. You know? They're they're weak, they're feeble, man. They're feeble in their spirit and in, and, and physically feeble too, man. Because they let their women rule over them, man. And and once again, through women we all die, man. Y'all brothers, y'all brothers got it, man. Y'all y'all brothers got it. It is Proverbs twenty and uh twenty nine. It says the glory of young men is their strength. That's right. All right now, what 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 strengths a young man? All right, the word the word builds you up, man. Come all on. right, through what wisdom? All, all right, because right. wisdom can torment you. Mm -hmm. All right, or it could what? It could build you up. Going back to right. Proverbs nine and one, man. All, all right, right. right. read it. Read it. Proverbs nine and one, Bible mm -hmm. It says the glory of young men is their strength, man. All right, and and the only way because the yeah, scriptures and Paul. If Paul tell you that bodily exercise property but little, what do you mean the glory of a, of a young man is his strength now? That's right. All right, it ain't push ups, it ain't <laughs> pumping iron, man. Turn. All right, because uh, like you read in Proverbs, it say that don't don't give your strength unto women or the ways that destroy kings, man. Right. Come, come, All right, come, come, come. so we know, and women could go and somebody speak into what different philosophies. Mm -hmm. All right, if you go into that, all right, not just the physical woman, right. it's come. a spiritual woman too, man. Right. Come. All right. Go, uh, I thought they probably had what you saying. Got it, yeah. Those different doctors, what they do, they, they are to soothe your yeah. your emotions, your feelings. Right. Right. Like a person comes He's to you, you know, a Muslim, uh, Rastafari. It yep. sound good to you, it feel good to you, so you're going to go with that. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to dive into that woman. That's going to be your main woman. Thanks. Right, 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 right. You know, we, we don't deal with that, man. This, uh, this is our woman right here. Right. The Lord said he's going to send us the comfort. Right. You know, right. and this is our comfort right here, man. The scripture tell you in Proverbs, what it is, like the seventh or the eighth chapter, about um, you know, this being our this being our woman, you know, and it's our kin's woman, our mother, right. our, you know, our mother and our sister. That's keep us seven away from different that's seven that's going to keep us away from these different women, man. Yeah. Cause a woman that's really for you, your sister, Come she really love you, your mother that really loves you, she gonna tell you, look, that woman ain't no good. Come let me get that seven. That woman ain't no good for you. Come you on, know, she been, she brother been brother around the block. Right, you brothers got it. The glory of the young men is their strength, man, and, and this what and the strength comes through the way of wisdom, which is right. the mother of, of all. Go ahead. Come. This is Proverbs chapter nine, verse yes, one. Uh -huh. It says, Proverbs. "Wisdom had Salakia. Wisdom had builded her house. She had shewed out her." Seven she pillars. Had hewed. She, hewed out. she had hewed. Seven pillars. Yeah, she had hewed out our right. seven pillars. Right. Huh. Which and, and wisdom built in our house, man. Right. Our that's house built what? Right. It, you're within walls, all right. Uh -huh. The scriptures are walls, all right. Uh -huh. You could get within uh -huh. them. It's, there you go. Huh. That's right, man. So that's what we base our strength on. That's why I said, um, wisdom and knowledge shall be the strength of thy um, shall be the stability of thy time and the strength of of thy salvation. salvation. Uh -huh. right. You see, the which is the Lord glory of the land. Right, and the fill of the Lord is the glory of the And the Lord said, we go. listen, hearken unto His commandments in the Book of Exodus. That will be unto him as a peculiar treasure. That's right. Come on, come on, come on. That's right. And then, and then, and then another one where he says he's liking un, he's liking us unto a like a common and delicate common woman. And delicate yeah. woman. Come on, right. Come on, come on. You know. Come on. Let me get this uh, Proverbs. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs seven, and uh, I'll just start at one. It says, "My son, keep my words, 
and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live. And my law as the apple of thine eye. And we know that we are the apple of the Lord's eye, man. It says, uh, bind them upon thy fingers, write them upon the table of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman, right. that they may wisdom. keep thee from strange, keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth, which flattereth with her words. And if I can add to it, it huh. say bind them, you know, put them on your fingers, bind them to your fingers, man, and write them upon the table of your heart. Our huh. fingers spiritually, you dive into it. Our fingers spiritually are our mouths, man. Because mm -hmm. our mouths make the statement and write write it out, man. Right, right, you right, know, right. not physically our, our our fingers, man, and the table of our hearts is what? We know right. that's our love, you know, right. our minds. Right. You know, that is right, right there, man. Right. So keep it upon your mouth. Speak it, man. Right. As well as meditating on it and applying it, man. Mm -hmm. Speak it as right. well. Teach it, man. Mm -hmm. We ought to make our bodies a living sacrifice, man. Right. You know, holy and acceptable, man. Right. See how about Shimmy I was shot, man. So we have to apply this word. We have to live, we have to we have to breathe this word because what? What is that life? When you breathe, you're alive. Uh, you know, this right. word is our life. So we have to uh, breathe it, man. Uh, to the best of our ability, man. Apply this word and, and teach it, man. Come, you know, but you learn. Real quick. Uh, uh, this proper, I mean Salak, Isaiah 8 and 16. It says, bind up the testimony. Seal the law amongst my disciples, man. Come. Who is that, man? Come. That's who? That's that's the ambassadors of the Lord, man. Yes, sir. Read that again. He said, bind. It says, bind up the testimony, man. Mm -hmm. Seal the law amongst my disciples, man. Mm -hmm. All right. That, that way, it what it lives with within you, man. That's and right. the kingdom is within, man. That's All right. right. And if something is within you, the only place for it to go is out, man. Right. All right. That's it, man. All right, that's why I preach the word. Make your body a living sacrifice. Come. All right, because it ain't what it ain't what goes inside a man that defiles him. What comes out. Come. So, and it's better for you. All right, if you hold back, it's a scripture that says it's better for a man that uh uh, and I paraphrase it than to hold back wisdom, man. No, uh, no, I'm paraphrasing. No, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna paraphrase. I'm gonna punch at it. Yeah. It's a lot. I don't wanna punch at it real crowd. I mean, I'm I got to get it. Y'all got to do. Y'all got to put it. Up. Bring it up. Go ahead, uh, to uh, go along with what the brother was saying, this is Galatians chapter 6, right, verse 10. As we have, therefore, opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Come. And our brother, see? Come. See? The house. Come. Yep. The house. And we have to reach, we have to reach our, our people, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Come. That 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 is the opportunity we are giving, making ourselves a living sacrifice Come. to go out and reach you. You are our concern. Come. Come. You know, none of these other knuckleheads and, and, and crackpots out there. Right. You know, <laughs> we, we we check you out for a second. You know, two thirds. You might, you fall right into that category. You know, right. you you must be destroyed. Right. Come. Come. You no, know, you are a burden on this planet. You are a burden to us. Come. And, and, and just to add to it, like the scripture tell you, you know, like the brothers get into, man, it tell you gonna worry about how the God, the ungodly shall, you know, right. perish. Worry yeah. about how the godly shall be saved, bro. Some paraphrasing, come, man. Come. And like, you know, just going into it as well, man. Just add to it, man. Hey, just cause you know, just cause your spirit, like this, what scripture tell you, the spirit bears witness to our spirit, whether we children of the Most High. Man. Right. Mm -hmm. If your spirit don't bear witness, that don't mean all the time that you're a heathen. Come. That just means, you know, it can mean also as well as you're a two third man. You the same right. ones that 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 put our king to death, man. Come. That have our king. It's con, huh? Come. You know that spit on him, kick him, Come. you know, threw rocks at him and shit, man. You gonna pay for that motherfucking Mother shit, man. Right. You know, right. you are gonna pay for that, man. The Lord is not giving you his spirit, man. That's why two thirds of our people must die, man, Come. And, uh, and are going to die, man. Come. You know, because they're the same ones that offered our king up, man. Come. You know. For no reason, man. Come, no reason right. at all because he was trying to further our nation, man. He was Come. teaching our nation, uplifting our nation, man, the spirit, man. For one, but for it was set up. Jealousy. For jealousy, y'all. Come. 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 You know, I mean, it, was, it was coons back then. It was Come. coons back then. Come, y'all. What they say, we, 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 don't, we don't want him to take our place. He gonna, they going to take our place. Right. That's, that's how they worry about, man. They worried about they, they own status in the society and stuff. Right. Having a righteous rulership, right? Because mm -hmm. then, like you going into what you're saying, now they they had a status in society. The mm -hmm. Lord, let mm -hmm. me tell you how the Lord spoke with authority. Come, it was given to them. Come, they took it, man. Right. 
Huh. You know, um, why? Cause I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a uh, Pharisee. Mm-hmm. You know, I have rules. No, nah, man, the Lord <laughs> came on and said He spoke with authority because what everything that He was saying and was flowing out of him was the truth, man. That's right. You know, and like we said earlier, right? niggas know the truth, bro. Niggas niggas know the it cuts them. It, it cuts them, bro. Huh. It cuts them. Hey, what you got? It says that they avoid him that speak of right in the gate. Come, on, bro. You saying Michael, yeah. man? Come. Yeah. They avoid the law because the law was what calling them out, man. Calling them out. All right, yeah. he was calling yeah. them out on their what? Their wickedness, man. Come. All right, Come. and then what? They was cut to the heart, man. Come. How many prophets spoke? Of, uh, 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 you got Stephen. All right, you got Paul. Mm-hmm. All these uh, they see a hey, Stephen. They took a Stephen. Yeah, I said Stephen. Come, Stephen. Come, Stephen come, you know. Come, come, come. It says they took an oath that they would not eat or drink anything until they killed Paul. And all um, Paul was doing was just telling them the truth. Pushing the word. You that's know, it. The script up. Push make word. That's that's it. Paul word. Yeah. Right. Have I become your enemy because I speak the truth? I got a precept. You know? I got a precept. I got some of that. I ain't worried, man. I'm speaking the word that I come. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 33. Verse 14, it says, Good is set against evil come, come and on. life against death. And we know that good right there, that's that's the Lord. That's the how about Shimmy How was shot, keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, and pushing his word week in and week out, no matter what, man. Come, come. And it said it's set against evil. Mm-hmm. To to basically to the to our people who's 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 uh Who's who's with these heathens, man? Right. You know, mm-hmm. like like we just had a, a wicked ass holiday that just passed Come, for these uh for for these heathens, man. Halloween, Come. man. Come. All Hallows Eve, man. Come, Sound. you know how many yeah. folks got killed? Seventy old girl, seventy <laughs> completion got shot in the fucking head. Man. That's Damn right. On that day, it says Come. it says so is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly, man. So it's just it's just a it's just a, a, a boxing match, man. Uh, a vicious cycle. You know what I'm saying? That Come. we that we gotta go through, man, and we gotta go through this, man. Come. You know, we 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 have to go out there. We have to push this word, man. Right. Week in and week out, man. We have to wake up our people, man. Right. No matter what, man. Right. right. You know, because guess what? It's the sinner against the uh, the godly. Right. So guess what? It's the godly against the sinner too, man. Right, 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 right. It don't matter, man. It don't matter, man. We, we this is what we have to do, man. This is what the Lord set us up to do, man. Come. The Lord chose Come. us. He we ain't choose the Lord, man. Proceed to John. Come. Come. Come, man. Come. And so like if I can add, you know, that's what it means to make your body a living sacrifice. Whether it's true, going out to the highways and byways. Kill us or not, man. That would have been the sacrifice to make your body a living sacrifice, man. Which could because you can be touched out here in these streets, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. niggas two thirds, man, want to kill the prophets, man. Uh-huh. These niggas killed the prophets in the old days, man. You know, they stoned Stephen, man. Stephen, Stephen, or whatever you want to call it, bro. Uh-huh. They stoned him, bro. They tried to throw your house out for kill, bro. Uh-huh. Man, that would let you know, man. Your house out wouldn't come and preach all no damn love, bro. Uh-huh. He was con- he was condemning you wicked niggas, man. You know, but the thing Come. about it is he was preaching love. The love that uh, yeah, how? twisted right. uh, knuckleheads of today, they get this love. Right. They get emotion. Emotion. twisted. Right. They get it confused with emotion. Love Come. is keeping the law, statutes, commandments of the most high Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Come. I'm the truth. That's right. That's what right. the love is. That's right. And that's what he was preaching. I'm that's right. It's not the love that this wicked society calls. On, on Valentine's Day. That's right. You know? That's right. Cause what the scripture tell you, man, is love. To, to love the most the most high, you know what I'm saying? Love y'all. The love, true love, bro, mm-hmm. from paraphrase. Mm-hmm. Is what? Keep the command. Yeah, what the what your house shot was teaching, man. Well, the book of uh, I think it was Matthew, the eighth chapter, when he told the lepers, mm-hmm. you know, hey, you know what I'm saying, do the things that Moses commanded of you with the priest, you know, huh. the Levitical priest, man, when you take the two doves and you know, so on and so forth with it, man. But sin no more, man. Tell nobody what I've done. Huh. You know, so hey, man. Hey, the Lord was like the mother say he was preaching love, man. Huh. But it wasn't a love according to your mindset, man. Right. What you huh. what you deemed as love, man? Because it tell you in the scriptures, man. The heart is a wicked above all, huh. man. Huh. You know, desperately wicked, man. Rough to paraphrase, man. Huh. You got it, bro. Hey, this uh Jeremiah two and thirty three. Let's just go right there to the brother. You got it. Out. It says. 
why trim is thy way to seek love? Right. Don't try to trim your ways, man. Don't try to, you know, uh, uh, conform to this way of society, man, to please right. the next man, man. Oh, no, look. Hey, what our, our, our big brother wasn't doing that. Right. He was right. all about doing what thus says. That's why they put it in the death. Man. That's why they put it in the death, man. Right. So we got to do the same thing. It don't matter, goddamn, your mama come up while you at camp, your uncle. If they come in the wrong spirit, man, hey. You, you give them the business, man, because we're what? A, our father and our big brother's business, man. Right. You know, ain't no trying to goddamn kiss your ass or suck up to you or comfort you. No, man. Hey, this, this is the true comfort, man. So if you can't accept this and it's sincere and it's true, man, then there's no comfort for you. Hey, the, scriptures, the scriptures say that I respects a person to him that is sin, man. Right. right. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, right, man. What the Lord say? He's yeah. no respect of a he person. He's no respect of a person, uh, man. Uh, and the Lord look at the spirit. He don't look at your age. Exactly. Not your exactly. mama, your dad. Exactly. Your spirit. Exactly. The spirit bears witness. Yeah. Exactly. Out of precept, man. If I can add real really quick, what the Lord, what the Lord said, man, when his mama and brother who? came up, he was like, "Who is my mother? Who is my brother?" He huh. was talking about this truth is his mother and and his disciple, and the disciple was his brother, man. Come. You know, so all this, if they ain't in the truth, they don't, they don't even count, man. They don't you count, know? bro. They they worthless, man. Come. Not saying that you know we don't keep the law just because they yeah. not in the truth. You yeah, know, right, we, right. we not supposed to goddamn commit a dog just because it's an Edomite yeah, guarding right. the law. We don't commit a dog say be angry. just because your mama might like, be wicked. That yeah. we still we yeah, still supposed still to keep the law. Honor right. our mother, not father. Right. 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 It don't say honor on, on, on this day uh, or the year, this month or the year. It uh, say you got them honor honor your mother and not father. Come. That's day. every day, man. All every the day, day bro. Come on. If we see all the days of thy life, Come on, that's right. That's you right. know. Now yeah. you now you growing this truth and you, you learn balance. You know, okay, well, yeah. mama ain't like this, mom, my daddy like this. So you deal with them, you know, from a distance, of course. But y'all don't mean just because they all oh, they eat shrimp and pork, you cuss them out every time. Mm-hmm. You know, like they you don't disrespect them. You know, you told them. You know, nine times out of nine, we're going to tell them like that ain't right. You know, just, you know, you know, just for our benefits of it, man. You know, and mm-hmm. they us too if they listen. Mm-hmm. You know, but we don't cuss them out or are you wicked as hell? No, I mean, mm-hmm. hey, mom, I love you, dad, I love you. You know, mm-hmm. you move. Mm-hmm. how you doing? You know, chop it up however you go with it. Come. Keep it moving, man. Come. Keep it moving, brother. Got it. I had a precept. You know, reverting back to that, uh, to that love. This is uh, First John chapter five, verse two. It says, by this we know that we love the children of the Most High when we love the Most High and keep his commandments. Come. So guess what, man? Love, according to the scriptures, is keeping the commandments of the Most oh, High. that's in the man. Old Testament, though. No, this is the <laughs> New Testament. And I, I could go Good. to another precept, man. Good. I go to another precept, Romans. <laughs> Romans uh, 13 and 10. No, love work is no ill to his neighbor. Oh, Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law, man. Oh, this is love, straight man. Up, this up. is love right here, man. Straight up. You know, because guess what, man? We, we, we're we keeping to the best of our ability the law, statutes, and commandments. And guess what? We love one another. If we see one of our brethren going off, Come. we're going to correct Come. him. Come. We're going to let that brother know, hey, bro, you know, now, you, you you ain't supposed to be doing that, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? According to the scriptures, we're going to let them know. We're going to show them. We're going to pull it out to the scriptures, man. Come. You know? That's what we're going to do, man.